All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. My name is Trigger Happy Havoc, and I'm gonna be your Burning Earth Chris tonight. God, I I batch I completely messed that up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. My name is Burning Earth Chris, and I'm gonna be your pilot tonight. There we go. In the last episode, Kyoko disappeared. Um. I guess she went to go investigate some of what's going on with uh, Hope's Peak. And uh, the fifth floor opened up to us, so that's pretty cool. But there are now six or seven students left back in the, um, in the uh, ultimate tier, so. Today we're going to spend a bit of free time with some people. I don't know what who I'm going to go with. I think I'll go with Hina. I said I would try to round out her story before the end of the game. Let's go see where she is. Ah, here we go. Even if it's hard, you have to endure. Endure, endure. Well... That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiru. Huh? But every person's endurance has a limit. Should I talk to Hina for a while? Yes. Yeah! I think we need a change of pace. When I think change of pace... You got it! I can only think 50 laps in the pool. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Yay! Uh, I don't know what to give you. Hmm. Why not? Let's see if this... Tickles your fancy. <laughs> Thanks, I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? I hope so. <sighs> so hungry. But please! Makoto, help me! I'm hungry! What am I supposed to do? <sighs> I need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a sack of paper. Need food. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? Just a second! I can't! That's my secret weapon, for emergencies only. I kept gorging on something with that many calories, I get fat in no time. So even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. But... Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Mm. Like ramen. How is that a snack? Wrong. Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. You got it! Ah, good choice! Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and all, so... Okay! I'm a porktastic tongue katsu girl through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> The key element of any tonkatsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. So you're okay with all that oil? Ugh. Talking about it just makes me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure though? I mean a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. What is this? Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't ya? What are you afraid? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Uh, are you still Hina? Just a second! Shut up, get out of my way. I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like. Or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the fist-based consequences? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Okay. Then don't. If I don't do this now, when am I ever gonna get another chance? 
Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off with a dangerous clip towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. <laughs> Hina's report card updated based on our experience with her. Yay! Ooh! Unlock the skill Extraordinary Focus. Alright. I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. Mm. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and... Now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Uh-oh. Is this gonna come back to bite us in the butt later on? Probably. Let's see if I can round out Hina. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous baseball player Kenji Jojima. Yeah, totally. I think what he means is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. You got it. Okay, let's go to the pool. Swim time. But. Oh, but uh. Don't stare, okay? I don't actually have a swimsuit, just a shirt, and when it gets wet, it's kind of... embarrassing. Oh, dear. Huh? Although, I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come... I went swimming with Hina, who seemed kind of embarrassed. Poor Hina. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Yay! Hmm, okay, let me see what I can give you this time. Hmm. Uh, let me see here. What is this, actually? Hmm, good luck finding a copy indeed. Okay. What's this? Rock taken from the sea of tranquility on the moon by astronauts of Apollo 11. Okay, it's the moon rock. Uh... Hmm... Let's see. Let's try this one. <laughs> Makoto, it's like you read my mind. Does that mean she liked it? Uh oh, are you okay? Ugh, this sucks. Huh? What happened to her? She seems way more depressed than usual. Hey, Hina, what's wrong? Um... Oh, well... I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, but I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I'm sick of this! I... I got fat. I figured. Huh? I'm so fat! Fat from every angle! I hate this. Hate it! I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fat fatty attitude. But what if I just keep getting fatter and fatter and it never stops? I'm sick of this! I just get disgustingly morbidly obese and then nobody wants to marry me. Which makes me depressed and I get even fatter. Eventually I can't even stand up on my own. And then I die, sad and alone. Nobody notices. 
I finally lose weight when my body starts to rot. I think you might be going a little overboard there, Hina. Besides, as far as I can tell, you look exactly the same. What the heck? You're just saying that. I'm a total chub monster. I'm a perfect circle. No, seriously. I'm not just saying that. Hmm. Then... I'm still hot? Well, well, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 yeah. Um. Really? Then I might still make it out alive? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll make it out alive. <laughs> thank God. Seriously, thank God. Okay. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement. As of right now, Aoi Asahina is on a diet. A diet? You got it. Just you watch. I'm gonna get so thin it'll scare the crap out of you. Uh, well... Don't overdo it, okay? Okay! Don't try and stop me. I've made up my mind and my willpower is rock hard. And now my resolve is even more rock hard. You got it! But before all that, time to get stuff on donuts! <laughs> That's so you! Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. I'm not sure if dieting is really in Hina's skill set. Hina's support card updated based on our experience with her. Maximum number of skill points has increased. Once we are all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I'm getting the chills. I feel kinda... dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but... I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... I was restless. <laughs> At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice... It's so familiar. Ugh! It's... I... understand. It's me! I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. What? Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. <laughs> My dream just now... What? So strange. Huh? What the fuck? <gasps> oh my god, Makoto, are you okay? Mm -hmm. 
Kyoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? What just happened? Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you get out of sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! <clears throat> it took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable ant lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right. I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard... I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... All of a sudden I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask and they were holding a knife I want to say I fought them off but I don't actually remember I felt like my mind had been detached from my body burning up with fever I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own and because of that I don't remember what really happened, but still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember, Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No. Was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? How indeed, curiouser and curiouser. I should look for some kind of evidence, okay. I opened the desk drawer and, wait, that knife. Oh no. Oh, it's gone. Oh my goodness. Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. 
I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. Let's get going. Hey, Makoto! Ah, Makoto! Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hey, Hina. Um... You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? Because, I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been... You know... <laughs> I mean... Not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to... Uh, you know. So anyway... What were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? <sighs> um... Well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else, then they can tell you all about it. <laughs> so, is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Alright, well, let's go into the gym then. Makoto Sprint Powers Activate! Kawush. There he is. Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez. To show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there. Besides Kyoko. And then I noticed... They'd formed a circle around... something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the?! Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Whoa! Holy crap! What? What happened here?! Oh my god! Uh, I'm not sure how to react. <clears throat> okay, um, let me regain my composure here. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Bonakuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not in your face. <laughs> what the hell? 
Oh, how did they get their hands on this? <laughs> Relax. There's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Biaki, I found this little fella laying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However... <laughs> when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. <laughs> it was Master's stroke of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Well, I mean, he did nearly kill someone in the first five minutes of, of his introduction, so... <laughs> Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? Uh, but besides that, what I'm wondering is... Why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down... So in other words... Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Could it be? Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. That makes sense. Mm. Yeah, he. that's true. He says this, the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey guys, I don't think that was a good time for a light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? Oh my god! It's... Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? A b b bomb Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb! <laughs> Relax. That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Uh, um... Roger that. Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. What? What? Motion sensor for serious? Uh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. <laughs> You're so not fine, you're all... Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned, the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Piyakuya! Jeez, don't scare me like that. <laughs> you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean! Hey, come on! The century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever, just 
hurry up and put the bomb down. Hang on to it's not gonna do anyone any good. Uh, um... Oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at this point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? When I thought about it. I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't haunt us! Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Huh? So that's a no. What are you? Some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. Hmm. We were saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Oh! Uh, that's significant. Uh... How are you going to do that without getting killed? Really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? But if the mastermind comes back while we're in there... What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. What the heck? Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away, or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything, come d uh, everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere, master. To all the ends of the earth. <laughs> Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man and I can do this. I got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways. And when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. All right, give me one second, folks. I gotta take a small drink. All right, back. Sorry about that. Well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Naturally, Master's the one to show such bravery. <laughs> Just make sure you don't get in his way. Okay. Sakura's gonna be watching over us. So we're definitely going to find something to help us bring this to an end. Hmm. We finally reached the climax! <sighs> so let's hurry up and finish it before the Mastermind catches us all. Let's go. This is where we expose every last detail of the Mastermind. Is everyone ready? I had to admit, I'm getting chills here, folks. <laughs> All right. Here we go. What? Hmm. It's locked, as expected. 
Um, so what are you going to do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. Huh? Wait, but the rules say... <laughs> We've seen that the mastermind doesn't isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in there... So in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agree this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. <laughs> so beautiful. <gasps> I mean... For serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually... Okay, but, uh... How are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh! What about that one thing? <laughs> I think I know what Makoto's alluding to. Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna say the bomb. <laughs> the thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then... The pickaxe! I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. <laughs> now then. Toko, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Well, when we got the gym, it was j just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably 9 on, on the d dot now. It's all clear now. Okay. Go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. What? What? That's straight up unreasonable. I, 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 by myself? Naturally. Surely you'd like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Unacceptable! With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. We're serious, though. Are we just gonna knock this door down? <laughs> no problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. <sighs> He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but... But I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flip a No. I'm totally flub back flab stuff. <laughs> Fat sauce? What? Gross! Where did that come from? Wait, Genocide Joe, where'd you come from? You called for me and so I am here! Hello, hello, it's the wonder. Uh, Wonderous murderous fiend, here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Uh -huh. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. Here comes the bloody nose! Huh? Seriously though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest! Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I think we already established that the memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes! Ah, the light bulb just went on! 
why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery? Hmm? Have you reached that certain age? Now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? <sighs> Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> K or Psst. you SOB! Did you hear me? I said corpse. Yes, I did. Holy shit! A corpse. Yep. That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? What did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it seems we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... So who the hell is this person? <sighs> I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? Just to make things clear. Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. I told you there's a corpse hanging out here! No way! Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Well, let's examine. We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know... ...is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How do they wind up dead in here? Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, all signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How could you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well... I think I see the outline of her chest, and just the general shape of the body. I was gonna say their shoes, actually. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be... Oh no, don't tell me it's Kyoko. Because if it is that... That makes a million other questions race through my mind, folks. Okay then. Yes. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. 
But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out towards the mask. And in the next instant... What the fuck?! Holy shit! Ah! Uh, there was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up, 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 it blew up! My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then... Come on! Hurry up, put out the fire! As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. Uh, but what the hell, man? It exploded? What, what did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... What? what? It's burnt to a crisp! That's beyond well done, man! Don't compare it to a steak, I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Huh? What? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um... There's only one person missing. Uh, um... It's Kyoko. Kyoko? And that dead body... Is Kyoko? No, that can't be right! <laughs> Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But... I mean... Who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words... The Mastermind. <laughs> what? 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 The Mastermind? What the heck? Come on, there's no way! The mastermind got charboiled? Get serious! <laughs> I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. <laughs> the mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But... That corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. That's true. He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. And could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? The Kuro Ikusaba. The 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? 
I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Mikuro Ikusada, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Fukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. I see. There's another student here and it's female? That would match the body's characteristics. So, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl Makuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot. How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the heck? None of this makes any sense. To suddenly just show up and then die? Hmm. I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah. Hey, wait. What? Um. Uh, aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko. What? what? Oh yeah, she totally got blown up, huh? Hmm. Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. You heartless bastard. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, she survived! Oh, she survived. <laughs> what just happened, Master? Stop talking. You declared for the whole world to hear you that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. What the heck? This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm right there with you, hero. Oh my goodness. Okay, well... This took a turn I was not expecting. Um, but I will leave the session here. Next time, we gotta figure out who this person was. So thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and consider supporting us at the links below. Take care, everybody. I'm Burning Earth Chris, and stay safe out there. If you like this video, consider supporting us on Patreon, Ko-fi, Streamlabs, or by shopping in our Redbubble store. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and other social media for more exciting updates. Thanks for watching.